Hello, see. Internet! I don't see the video. Oh, wait, wait. There it's going. There we go, this is live now. Yeah! Woot, woot. So far, we have... Egeg, you sure? Malice, Nate, and Phantom in the chat. That's good. Why? Oh, wait a minute. Why isn't? Oh, it's showing that, but nobody said anything. So well, that's fine. That's not important. So let me go ahead and oh, you can actually see it on camera. My Mexico. Your Mexico? Yes, it's Coca-Cola that was bottled in Mexico, but it has yeah. the real cane sugar in it, and I'm drinking this to toast. The fact that I won my little legal dispute with YouTube. Nice. Suck it! Use jazz instrumentals, sons of guns. Your music ain't in battle, kid! That has tequila. Tequila's good! Hey, Tequila's... PC user. <laughs> Phantom X Death! PC user, what's happening? Alright, folks. Welcome out to the stream before the stream. I think this is either the third or the fourth one that we've done. And we are going to play, hopefully complete before Mario Party After Dark actually airs, Ghostbusters for the Sega Genesis, which is critically overlooked. And just because it's a licensed title, people had a lot of bad taste in their mouth left over from the NES versions. This was covered briefly on the Angry Video Game Nerds Part 3 of his uh, Ghostbusters review. And I absolutely fell in love with it. But I found out something very interesting. It's done by the same guys at Compile that did Blazing Lasers, The Guardian Legend, Gunnack, Xanak, all those crazy shoot 'em ups. So that's what's going on here. And it plays really well. The only problem is, for whatever reason, Winston Zedmore's not in it. It's just Peter. I know! It's just like, poor Winston? Like, just. <laughs> That, that poor man gets the shaft. It's just like, you know, because in the original Ghostbusters movie, he doesn't really come in until the very end. And he is the their first new... hire outside of Janine. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's just like, and even in the new Ghostbusters game that came out on, you know, the PC, the PS3, the Xbox 360, the Wii, what, yeah. pretty much every system it came out on, it, it's, again, Winston doesn't come in until, like, a good chunk of the game. It's just like, Yeah, really? when, when he shows up with Ecto-1, I think it's like the second or third yeah. chapter in. Pretty much, well, I think it's actually after you take care of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man again. Oh, it's before that. When you're out on street level, it's when he first shows up. Because he's driving it when they're using the Super Slammer Trap. But that's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a damn good game, and I'm really glad they got everybody to reprise their roles. Because Ernie Hudson, he was doing Oz for, like, forever, which is great for him, because nobody thought that little show would succeed. But, you know, he proved them wrong. So, you know what, guys? Right. Super Bobax. Yes. Shiro, hello, sir. Your stream was rocking so hard. So let's go ahead and do this. Because you know what? Busted makes me feel good. And, and, now everybody, and now everybody's starting to sing the theme song. Damn right. <laughs> oh, I got a nice story in regards to the Ghostbusters theme song. Because, <laughs> I mean, I was a little, little kid when it first, like the very first movie Did you came watch? out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it was like two. Bruce yeah, Lee 3000, so, welcome, sir. Well, you couldn't have been two because I would have been sperm count. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, gang, in the chat, who do I choose? Egon, Raymond, or Peter? Peter. Peter? Peter. Peter, okay. Peter, Peter Vankman it is. Like the over-exaggerated caricature they have. I just let it do Ray Egon! Egon. <laughs> Good times. Damn right. There's recently been a lot of activity in the happening excited. here and there. So excited that I'm knocking my tequila over. Whoopsie. Knocking that tequila. <laughs> I'm drinking because, well, one, it's Mario Party after dark night, mm -hmm. and two, it's Jose's birthday today. That so it is. Happy birthday, Mr. Mejia. Yes, so <laughs> him, I would drink in his honor. Crivet says to play as Lewis Tully. <laughs> That's um, funny. So anyways, um, <laughs> as I was saying, though, I mean, like I said, th this movie came out when I was still like a really, really young lady, mm -hmm. and many years later, when it came back out, like I think the first time it did reprint on VHS. Yeah. Which now I'm kidding myself when I say VHS. <laughs> but anyways, um, my grandmother and I were visiting a family outside of town, and so we. Phantom X actually... says I ain't afraid of no ghost, but Craig is. Yes. <laughs> 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 that should be the highlight for this video, by the mm -hmm. way. I ain't afraid of no ghost, but Craig is. Yes. 
Hey, E-Gag. E okay, so welcome, sir. So I think at this time, I was about 11 or 12. Um, when we were out visiting, we went shopping for the day, and I came across like the VHS copy of Ghostbusters. And, like, I so need to buy this, mm -hmm. so I bought it, and I convinced my uncle and my younger cousin to actually. Sit hold on, hold on! Time for narration. The tables move around by themselves, and shelves will fly around the house. I'm so afraid I can't sleep at night. I'm begging you, please help. And then Doctor Venkman says, hey, "I've got all about you, said. Don't worry, we'll leave it up to the Ghostbusters." Whoa, Doctor Venkman having work ethic? What is this? <laughs> It's a video game. I know. Yeah. So, anyways, so I convinced my uncle and my little cousin to uh, actually watch the movie later that evening. Mm -hmm. So, my grandmother has never, never watched Ghostbusters in her life. Oh, God, I and... bet she was terrified. <laughs> God, no. God, no. Anyways, so, we're watching the movie, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, the part comes where the theme song kicks in, and mm -hmm. my grandmother pipes right up and looks right at me, and she's like... That's where you got it from! And I'm like, what? And so she totally ignores me at this point, turns to my uncle, and she goes, When Kelly was a little girl, she used to just truck up and down the hallways and start singing this song, and I never knew what it was from, but now I know where it's from. Yeah, apparently when I was like two or three years old, I knew the Ghostbusters theme song like the back of my hand, and would promptly <laughs> walk up and down my grandmother's apartment and sing the entire song. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. It was the number one song in America for, like, almost a year. Uh, and again, in regards to the song, now, many years later, when I, I think it was, like, the first or second year that I was a driver's ed instructor, mm -hmm. it was when the new game was coming out, and I was talking to one of my female students, said, oh my god, I'm so excited for next week, and they're like, why? I said, because the new Ghostbuster game comes out, and it looks fantastic. Oh and like, god, yeah. And, Summer and she, of 09, what a year. Okay, so anyway, she's like... What's Ghostbusters? Oh. I looked at it and I'm like, I'm, I said, what? Bruce Lee, this is on the Sega Genesis, one of the few games for that system where I think the audio, you can't tell that it's on the Genesis. It just surprises me yes. so much. <laughs> Anyways. There's these damn coffee cups that take so many hits. Look how many hits this takes. Yeah, so, so many. I was very upset to find out that this student actually legitimately did not know what the Ghostbusters was, so I promptly made her pull over and park, and I whipped out my Blackberry. <gasps> Encounter and time! And it's I a ghost! Her, oh I god. I the theme song, and I made her watch the video, and then she's like, Oh, it's that song they play every year for Halloween! They oh. made a video game about it! I was just like, I made her go watch the movie. I'm like, this is an amazing movie from when I was your age, even younger than you. Mm -hmm. You need to go watch this. Yeah, my mother and father went to go see it in theaters, much to the chagrin of her parents, who lived locally. They didn't really care for it. Because, <laughs> you know, they're all like, oh, that's evil. <laughs> Are you nice. kidding me? It's Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> all dirty humor. Yeah, seriously. And then we get to capture. It's like, yeah, just, like, this is I like the Zelda believe. fishing game. Got a real like, man. could not believe that she's like, Oh, it's that song that they play every year for Halloween. They made a video game from a song? <laughs> <laughs> higgity, higgity, what? I almost cried. Bruce Lee says, this game looks so good compared to other games. Yeah, other games of this time on the Mega Drive? Absolutely, yes. And Phantom X Death says he had the, uh... Stay Puff Marshmallow. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the thing, uh, Nate Graves. I saw Ghostbusters 2 a lot more growing up than I did see the original. When I go and I got the original on Blu-ray, I was like, oh, it's fantastic. SNL equals equal? Wait, SNL equals evil. What is the world coming to? Egag, um, the last couple of years it was pretty bad, but you know, it was really funny. Dan Aykroyd was originally petting Ghostbusters to be a skit on Saturday Night Live, much the way the Blues Brothers was. And then Belushi died, and, that, and uh, Eddie Murphy lost interest because of that, and it all just kind of went to pieces after that, so it was I funny. I love the fact that Eddie Murphy is still kicking himself for passing up the role of Winston. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that would have been very interesting. Because like, that means like Winston Zedmore's character would have probably been completely different. <laughs> yep. I do hope at some point they actually do a third movie, whether it be They're CG or not. They've already, uh, that's one of the reasons why they made the game. Mm -hmm. That was actually the original script that Dan Aykroyd wrote back in the 90s that never happened. 
Yeah, but anyways, uh, Dan Aykroyd actually said that he that they put this out because they want to see how much of an interest people still had in Ghostbusters. And, and then they've Peter does a jig for some reason. They've, they've confirmed that they've already started uh, writing the script. Hmm. So. Look at that. Whether we see it or not, we'll, well, we'll come to see that someday, maybe. Yep. Thank you very much. This uh, is a token uh, of my gratitude. Now I can sleep Santa soundly. And he said, Woody Man is here and really wishes his mom didn't sell his copy of this game. Yes, Tom I am playing on the turbo controller. Yes, I am. Because you know it's 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 a little ASCII turbo from ASCII. They also did the NES Advantage and the SNES Advantage and the SNES Fight Stick. They also they did all sorts of great things. I was very jealous of the child because my older cousins had the Ecto One toy. I have that, and Fuck I had the Firehouse too. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like. Eh. And apparently, uh, okay, this is true to Peter's character right here. It's like, we've got some money, let's go party. Woody's ashamed of you. Why is he ashamed of me? Because you're using the turbo controller. Oh, f your couch, Woody man. This is how I grew up playing. Because we didn't have a game <laughs> genie yet, turbo. <laughs> Woody said I had a proton pack. Oh, jeez, I never had one of those. <laughs> I wanted one. I, I wanted that in the trap. Yeah, I actually had the trap, and I think nice. I had the proton pack, which is funny. That's good. That's very yeah. good. Which is kind of making me sad, because there's an awesome, like, female Ghostbuster costume that mm -hmm. I want to get, but I'm sitting there looking at it going, Th this just leads back to that nice little topic that everybody has going, women just dress up on Halloween to be sluts. Oh, is it Sexy Ghostbuster? Sexy Ghostbuster. Oh, Very low cut in the front, and see, it's for sure. See, that's, that's funny, because um, at SGC, uh, they had the Ghostbusters there in 2009, and they were all, like, like, into it, you know? Like, actually, like, dressing up. Like, for real, you know, with the jumpsuits and everything. And I actually wanted to interview one of them, like, in character. It's like, did you go to college to, you know, study yes, before Chairman, taking over? I can see you liking to dress like a slut. <laughs> I, I just have this mental image of you in heels standing in front of a big, big mirror. Ugh. And Kriven says for you to check Tweeter. Tweeter. Oh, and I... And it, it was a it, Ghostbuster it, last year for Halloween. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, the guys that showed up at SGC, they had, like, the replica power packs and everything. And that was just oh. awesome. But it was like, uh, the old assistant mm -hmm. manager at the movie theater that I worked at, he actually custom built his own proton pack. <laughs> Joe Shadowman says in a red dress. <laughs> yeah. Roxanne, you don't gotta wear that red dress tonight. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, Ghostbusters oh, that... Extreme, yes, that was actually voiced by Tara Strong. <laughs> Everybody loves Tara Strong. Stay okay, so this guy's house has got possessed by ghosts, and now it's like frozen and there's water everywhere, so figure that one out. <laughs> so, okay. I can misconstrue that as two things, Joe Shadowman. Either you're wearing the red dress to, to promote Jared, or you're dressing up to hit on Jared. Oh. <laughs> oh. He set himself up for that. He sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Tweeter! It, it's a link to something, and I'm I'm afraid to open it because my vacation week is over. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I, I've seen some of the stuff Kriven has sent you. <laughs> Mildly disturbing. So everybody on the tw uh, who's in the uh, chat watching right chat now, let's much. see here. We got what? Twelve people. We need more. Get more people in here. Everybody tweet at Mr. Brian Baker because he was saying like I'm looking to fill out some more Let's Plays on the site. This is actually better than a Let's Play. It's a damn stream, with audience interaction. Uh, same here, Famnex Death. He just said, lol, Stay Puft always reminded me of the Michelin Man. <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, why'd you shave your goatee, Woody Man? What's up with that? That's like why? you. It's like, mirror, we've mirror. Had, we've already had enough sad news today. Why would you have to do that on top of all this? All right, all right, Kriven's, Kriven's making me go ahead and check what this is right now. I'm, uh, I'm afraid to do this. <laughs> Using my iPhone so that way if it's a big picture, I won't have to see all of it. <laughs> oh, you know what, Kriven? Thank you. That was nice. And actually, guys, if you want to redirect it using the, um, I actually embedded this on Screw Attack as well. If you guys want to start using that, that's fine too. 
Either ways, fine by me, as long as people know about it. As long as people come and watch your stream? Yep. Because, <laughs> you know, it takes an, a whole extra 30 seconds for me to make an embed port on Screw Attack, so... Because <laughs> that's where this is getting posted, it's not going anywhere else. Speaking about loyalty, how about that $10,000 for SGC already? Oh man. It's fantastic. I know, but I'm still sad because I can't donate. Opportunity, right around the corner, you never know what's coming next. Now this one sucks because it splits into three. Aha! Gotta figure out which one it is, but it changes every time she flies around. The amount of damage you do when you just hit her anywhere else is so negligible, even with the turbo controller. Which one is it? Oh, it's the bottom one. It's the bottom one on this one, too! Heck your couch! <laughs> yeah! Kind of reminds me when Dana Barry got possessed in the first movie when she's flying around like that. Yep. There we go. You got him! You got him! Seriously, this is like... If you want to know what it is to like reel these guys in, it's really just like the fishing game in Ocarina of Time. It's the best way I can describe this. There we go. And the thing is, if you mess up, those Slimers, they do fly away, so you really only get one shot to catch them. Per building. So he wonders how you embed it into screw attack. Because I'm magic. Um, actually, funny story, if you actually want to start embedding it on screw attack, and I do encourage you to do that because that helps promote the site, which is the whole reason why we know each other, you get an embed code for your active channel on the page. So like, for instance, Tom the Iron Man on Twitch, there's share and there's three embeds right there. You want the one for video and the one that says like a question mark between two carrots. That's for the chat. And from there when you go to embed video, you put the video first and then you put the chat like you hit a space and then you put the chat right after that so that way it's all the same presentation that you're accustomed to seeing on screwing around. And, and Man of Woody says, I remember when I played this game with the turbo controller. Oh wait, I never did it because I have balls. I do too. I just choose not to think with them. Always leads to problems and people doing stupid things. And sticky situations. It, yeah, well, that's what it can lead to sticky situations if you really don't think. Hey, giggity! No. And here's the thing, Woody. If you go and use the turbo controller, you can actually save yourself a great deal of money in this game of getting your um, energy backpack filled all the way up. Because to, you're, you're not going to get through the castle at the end of the game <laughs> without having that shield. Especially since I kind of spent all my money on getting it upgraded, I didn't have enough money to get a Peking Duck. Which is something interesting, to fill all your health in this game, it's a Peking Duck. And I love Peking Duck, I just thought that was a very random thing to choose as a health power-up in this game. And then you have a giant ghost jellyfish in the water, because that makes sense for some reason. Oh, it grows its arms back! <laughs> there you go, get out of here. There's a bomb underwater, because that makes sense. Because, you know, you put your saves oh, nice. underwater. Bruce just said, thank you very much, Tom and Kanan. I shall hopefully be streaming all of the Thief games soon, and was wondering how I could do that. Have you been do <laughs> have you been doing it, Hitman? <laughs> Thief, huh? Yeah, my name's Garrett. I got moves like a ferret. I'm gonna steal okay. your doll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my favorite one that he's put out since Mega Man 3 Extended. Seriously. Like, Thief was just one of those games that came by, like, completely by accident. And I was like, you play as a thief? That seems really distasteful. And then you play it, and you're like, oh my god, this is really cool! And then you find out that, like, Ken Levine, the guy who did, like, Bioshock and stuff, he wrote the, wow. he, he wrote the story. <laughs> so, the, the, I'm sorry, on the poll for, uh, on Screw Attacks, is Mario Party 6 After Dark tonight? Whose team are you on? Mm -hmm. Chad has a 33% vote. Jared has a hundred percent vote. What? Corey has none, and Sam is in the negative. How does that even work? Yeah. Unless if they're just I like messing know. with everybody. You <laughs> possibly? Damn the bombs underwater, Tom. How do you forget about the dam? What? What are you talking about? Teenage <laughs> Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh. Fuck, I hate that level. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> 
and I gotta like drop the shield on because I'm I don't want to lose a life this early on. Now, one nice thing about this game is though, if you do lose a life, this is one of those games that you actually pick up exactly where you left off, like Contra, which is you know nice. Keeps the game moving. You don't have to cry over spilt milk. Whoops. Daggone it. And there we go. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie Daisy! Now it's good and broke. Okay, well now I guess can take the shield off then. Way to go, Tom. You broke it. I didn't break <laughs> nothing. <none. laughs> Man, I you said there's a shield in this game? Yes, it's one of the many upgrades you can buy from that, uh, yeah. the guy that the Ghostbusters buy their, um, equipment from. Yeah. Which is interesting because, like, you know, they gotta... James brought this up in his Ghostbusters video. It's like, well, if they're not making their technology, then who is? Well, here's the thing. They probably made this stuff themselves. But they had to buy the equipment to make it from somebody. Yep. Now, that would make sense. Whoops. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. What? What am I doing? Turn that back on. Come on, guys. Go and advertise more. Yes, please. Because this is... In people. Awesome. Oh, Slimer. Rah. And see, here's the funny thing. Woody Wait, Manda... Yeah, you should have seen what Jared tweeted. What did he tweet? Uh, about the poll. Oh, I must have missed that. Bad Mr. Frosty's at the end of the level, Woody Man. <laughs> oh, and here's the funny thing. Actually having a turbo controller actually makes catching the ghosts uh, harder. So <laughs> it's actually a detriment to use it. Because <laughs> you think it would be easy just reeling it in as fast as you can. It doesn't really work that way. Yeah, man, what you get? Clay Fighter's reference. I'm awesome. Clay Fighter, Clay, Clay Fighter, come and fight them if you can. Clay Fighter. Clay, Clay Fighter. You killed Slimer. Oh, he got out of the containment unit. He was asking for it. But it's Slimer. <laughs> Especially in the animated series, Slimer's your friend. Yeah, seriously. He's like the... was like the best thing about the show. Hmm. And you killed missing... him! I did no you... such thing. <laughs> you killed your best friend! <laughs> he, he got the way. Yeah. He was a casualty oh. of war. Wow, okay guys, so future reference, never get in Tom's way, because he will kill you no matter how much of a friend you are. You just make me sound like a horrible person, like I'm you a monster. Your best friend. You killed your best friend, and then you said he's a casualty of war, like it was nothing. Like he meant nothing to you. He's a I ghost, mean, he'll just respawn in a minute. <laughs> you never know that you could have obliterated his soul from existence, and then he will never exist ever again. You're making me feel real bad right now. <laughs> Good at that. <laughs> 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 Pretty much. Hello, people. Oh, here comes bad Mr. Frosty. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Ah, uh, boo. I'm assuming your obligation tonight means that you're going to go be in G1 After Dark. <laughs> Tell everybody in G1 After Dark to get in here. Everybody likes Ghostbusters. Crying out loud. Unless of like obligations equals like family obligations, you have no excuse not to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Joe man, you better be cheering on Jay here tonight. Tweet as you exit. And you kept with fire. And that, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Blah! Blah! Shoot him in the face. And that's the cool thing about this game, you know, they didn't, like, recycle any of, like, the characters from the animated series. Which ran for a ridiculously long time. But, um... The, all the ghosts ghost in this game, outside of Slimer, are originals. Oh, now it's yellow snow, you don't wanna... Oh, now it's red snow. Those are the two types of snow you never wanna eat. Red and yellow, because you don't know what happened. 
basically melting. The snow is bad. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, not every Ghostbuster does that. Like Ray does, like a muscle flex, and Egon just like fixes his glasses. Peter feels the need to jump up and down. <laughs> Nice, what he said, in winter I'm doing a top 10 snow creatures in video games. That's gonna be cool. I love the blue and red snow cone. Woody Man says this is the best Ghostbusters game ever. Woody, I would say it's only number two to the 2009 Ghostbusters game. I fucking love the 2009 one. Yeah, before before that, this would definitely be the best one ever. See ya, Joe. Tweet as you exit, Joe. <laughs> and Mal is back, bitches. Welcome back, Mal. Hey, Mal. Okay, I'm gonna turn my freaking screen save off because it keeps going every like five minutes here. <laughs> Tom, you are wrong and you should feel bad. Now, man of Woody. So my opinion's my... wrong. No, it's my job to make Tom feel bad, not yours. Okay, there we go. Tom, we need to play Killing Floor sometime. Uh, yeah, based on what I saw yesterday when I was playing with it, it was it was pretty amazing. Wait, wait, Shiro, seriously? You, how did you, you not know about that? Dude, that's it's on it's pretty much on every fucking platform available. Well, there there's Just a version of it Wii. on the Wii, that, but that's different from the one that you and I played. No, it's still it's technically the same game. They just did it more cartoony graphics. They, Some they, of the they, levels were missing. Oh yeah. Like when you go back to the hotel, that's gone, which is terrible because that was one of the coolest levels in the entire game. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a total throwback to the original movie. Mm -hmm. Just like you're at the fucking hotel, it's just like. I just really like the part when uh, they're in the uh, elevator okay. with the. Hmm? Shiro was in Afghanistan. Oh, right? okay, okay, yeah. No, the the cool thing about that game oh, was uh, Shiro was that um, it was originally supposed to be published by Vivendi Universal. And then when Vivendi bought uh, Activision Blizzard, that game, along with Chronicles of Riddick and Prototype and something else, okay. got Quick lost question. in the sun. Hmm? Okay, Flying Glass, are you trying to watch this video on Twitch, or are you trying to watch it on Screw Attack? Because apparently Flying Glass can't see the stream, but he can hear Try refreshing the page, dude. Well, first I'd like to see... Okay, Twitch. I'm gonna link to the screw attack one. Let's see if that one might actually work for you. Also, Adobe released an update for Flash, and it's been crashing a lot for me lately, so maybe that is. Um, anyway... Adobe suck a dick. Yeah, they sure can. So, Flash anyway, Shiro, um... It was... After that buyout, Activision thought that they couldn't turn Ghostbusters into a yearly recurring franchise, so they abandoned it, and then Atari got the rights to it, and that's how they got it finished. Yep. So, and it was a big deal because it was the December 2007 issue of Game Informer that had just the Ghostbusters logo on the front with no other print. Normally it says, the new exciting southern... No, it was just the Ghostbusters logo. That's all you needed to know. I had a fight with the manager at uh, EB Games to give me my fucking free shirt. Mm -hmm. That's, well, it was just like, because they advertised, they're like, yeah, if you pre-order, you get the Ghostbusters shirt that comes we with didn't it. Get, like, we didn't oh. get shirts in North America. I mean, in the uh, United States. <laughs> that uh, sucks. See, actually, you should, well, wait, you, were you still working at the time? Oh, I like, was working all the way up till the summer of 2010. Like, okay, the day after SGC, that's okay, how Okay, but anyways, um... Seven yeah, long we, we years. Got, we got them up in Canada, surprisingly. And, but the thing was, though, it's just like, you know... Hey, Woody, I man, we're going to your house. We're going to the Woody house. <laughs> that's on fire. <laughs> anyways, so I went to go pick up my coffee, and mm -hmm. he gave it to me, and I was about to walk off, and then I looked at him, isn't this supposed to come with a free t-shirt? And he looked at me. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> just look and then he like reaches underneath the counter and just throws his cardboard box up on the counter he, what size do you want and, like i'm sitting there going you fucking prick you were gonna give me my free teacher you were gonna keep it mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> okay guys so you're at a house that's bursting into flames and this is as much as you can see how much sense does this make so you have to put on some infrared goggles to see in a building full of fire? Doesn't make sense. It's the only thing annoying about this place. Now, if you have enough money, you can 
by enough to see, so it's not an issue, but... Yeah, see, it looks awfully dark for a house that's on fire. Yeah, I know. What's up with that? Just like, ah. You got flaming <laughs> git... Bruce Lee 3000 says seamless. Seems legit. <laughs> yeah, sure. And then you got flaming guinea pigs everywhere. Uh, man, what he said, the smoke makes it dark. That actually the smoke makes... Me. Okay, that does make sense, because infrared yeah. goggles would see through that. Yep. Of course, then you got Dr. Vankman running around here without any breathing apparatus. <laughs> of course not. I've got the goggles! They actually do something! <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! No! Get out of the fire. At least the fire in this game isn't like an instant death trap. It's like if this was like a Mega Man game, you know, like Mega Man 6, there's fire and as soon as you hit the fire you die like your spikes. Which is redonk. See, spy <laughs> there's Slimer. See, he helped me. He gave me all my health back. <laughs> Woody Man is a genius! <laughs> that works. Seems legit. Encounter! But the yeah. IR goggles would blind okay. you because all you can see is the heat from the fire. Oh, stop hey, it. <laughs> man, did you enjoy your, your meal after, what, 13 hours? Was he on a fast or something? It was, what, Ramadan or something like that? Ramadan just started yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he, well, whatever it was, he had to fast for X amount of hours. Gotcha. And it's also like a Jewish uh, month of holiday as well, or a month of observance or something like that. Which is why um, Whitley can't go see the Dark Knight yet. <laughs> it's oh, like, that oh. was such a sad thing last night. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> let's keep it upbeat, because it's Mario Party night, and we'll light a candle for them later. If you'll ca oh, okay. See, they can actually attack you, which is no good. Rawr, get down here. He sounds like I drank so much water. I I bet you did. Water being a natural appetite suppressant. Yes, PC user. No sad topics. Only happy and lols. Cause this is Unistream. Goddamn it. <laughs> okay. For some reason, I had the Inspector Gadget theme just pop in my head. I don't know why, <laughs> but as you were trying to like wrangle in the ghost, he hears. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, what the fuck, head? Seriously. Okay, there's a thing. Why isn't there a proper Inspector Gadget game? Seriously. Why do they not look like the Ghostbusters? Lol. What? <laughs> so how's the Sun Baby? Oh gosh, the Sun Baby. That was scary. <laughs> Well, apparently the sun baby is incredibly hot now. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah. Oh, got jokes. Cannon's got <laughs> jokes. Cannon got ah the jokes. Yes. You know, it's kind of like um the the girl from the uh, Ermagad uh, books thing. She's apparently pretty hot now too. Anyways, he since it act Tom we're not allowed to drink water during the 15 hours, so he drank a ton right now. Oh, really? See, uh, that was the thing. My mother was teaching in uh, Senegal. During Ramadan, of course, the kids, you know, can't focus. And Mal they... says, Tom, what about the Inspector Gadget game for the SNES? There was one, but the thing is, it was one of those, like, two hits, you're dead kind of games. It was... I remember reading about a Nintendo Power, and I couldn't have been more than 13 at the time, thinking, this doesn't sound very good, just from, Actually, like... Actually, the Inspector Gadget series was as popular, if not a little bit more than Ghostbusters, because Inspector Gadget had a much longer run, I believe, than It only ran for two seasons, but it had, like... 45 episodes per season and something ridiculous yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And see when the batteries for the goggles start to wear out, you start getting to see crap like this in this narrow focus until it just gets back around you, so... If you buy enough goggles, you can just, you know, just go and not worry about it, but... See, why don't you just buy more batteries? That would be the more logical thing. Hmm, the batteries are dying in my goggles. Quick, buy more goggles! Yeah, because that makes sense for some reason. Exactly, this logic is invaluable. Go, go, Gadget Goggles! Yeah, seriously. Next time, Gadget. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shelby's not here to hear that. that she she may actually join us in the chat I know, if her family is not uh, smothering her in attention right now. Flaming guinea pigs everywhere. All the flaming guinea pigs. He says, speaking of the sun babies, the Teletubbies are sent by God to reap the soul of the sinners, shivers at the thought of them. What? Stream was good on Tuesday because of the time. We'll see what we can do about that. And we'll see what we can do about uh, Sunday as well. Serious, you, can't, you should go to voice acting. I would need to actually do a lot of fucking voice work. 
to get into that. And sadly, we can give you John Saint John's agent. <laughs> but sadly, though, the thing is, though, like, unless you encounter, are, <gasps> unless okay. you're lucky and you land into something big, then voice acting does not pay a lot. And yeah. Fan just went lol, clone in. <laughs> There you go, fam. Everybody can go tweet that. Kanan does Dr. Fulton impersonations on Tom's stream. Pretty much. Okay, now look at this 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 fire ghost that I'm fighting right here. Doesn't it look like Goza? Gozer, but like on fire? Aim for the flat top. <laughs> so, so goes are slamming in this game? <laughs> it, she kind of looks like a drag king in the movie, so... True enough. Oh, blue fire. She's really mad. I like how I'm assuming it's a she. Blah! It's the only thing that the proton packs are missing in this game is a long beam, kind of like a Metroid. Come on, you little bastard. What's this? So did everyone hear about SSA's mini marathon on Tuesday? Twelve hour stream to promote SGC Kickstarter. No, I did not hear. I about did that. not know about that. That's kind of a big deal. <laughs> yes, that's a very big deal. I'm very sad though because I went and like harassed some bigger name people to go and read about SGC. I'm actually gonna reach out to Anonymous tomorrow because right now they're they're working on something, mm. and um, see if they can't do that because they do like helping small things like that, but they're in the middle of, like, one of their vendetta campaigns. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to disturb them. Oops. Yeah, I kind of miss screwing around today, because I decided to apparently have a mild coma for the better part of the day. It was, uh, interesting. They were playing League of Legends, and it worked out really well. Yeah, I kind of figured they were going to do that, because there was a secret test stream on... Wednesday, Wednesday around 1 o'clock. <laughs> And they were doing League of Legends. So apparently Chad must have finally got the, uh, the supercomputer up and running. Um, the supercomputer handles um, the wire casting for the regular show. Um, I see Dilly! Hey, hey, hey! And, um... That I... was a very sad fat Albert. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! But no, He's um... I reached out to... Fat Albert was one of my favorite shows growing up. My god, you guys don't even know. If you didn't grow up with Fat Albert, you're, you're missing out. But, um, yeah, no, I, I tweeted at Chad and he got back to me like, uh, are you using a separate PC to stream that, or is that all done on the same computer? I was like, nope, I built this thing around the fact that it needed to do both. And I'm like, well, that's fantastic. <laughs> so it looks like the Master Mac isn't handling the, uh, wire cast anymore. It's all no, coming they... off that gigantic thing. That's why they went to the PC instead of using a Master Mac now. Because mm -hmm. they want The difference is huge. <laughs> Like, you can tell. They're busting ass to get it to work. So apparently, uh, Shelby and I are gonna have to fight for the rights to dress up as, uh, Doll Alice from Madness Returns. <laughs> why? Why? Is, is this, like, one of those things, like, that bitch, she's wearing the same outfit as me? Is that one of those well, moments? Well, I said, like, I was, remember I was on with you guys on Skype last night, and I was still debating on what to actually wear for SGC, mm -hmm. and Shelby made the comment going, I can't see you as anything else but something for Madness Returns, because that's how a lot of people know me, because of my Madness Returns shit all yep. on the screen tap pages. I think, uh... Both, <laughs> Domino says me. both dresses be worn so we can judge. <laughs> no. Shira says Kelly versus Shelby in the mud. Oh, come on. No! Be respectable. Jello or KY Jelly. I can't it. <laughs> yes, Woody Man, this is the wall face boss. I'm gonna punch you, I swear to god. First day I meet you, it's like, hey Tom. <laughs> and then it'll be like, I deserve that. Yeah, you and did. I probably deserve that too. Mm -hmm. Jello much better, why? So you can eat it afterwards. <laughs> do not, Please, then, do not mention Jello, Jello in the stream. <laughs> KY Jelly only leads to death, old school. <laughs> You're my boy, Blue. It's one of the few Will Ferrell movies I can kind of sort of tolerate him in. Normally the wall fuck. Wah! Normally this. Sam, hmm? Sam admits that in the video, too. He Sam went, and Sam admitted that Chad never played Boulder's Clip when I asked him. Yeah. I mean, that was it. That was in the, the, the video. 
Well, it's also that that also got brought up on screen around today as well. I know, but that was just funny. Just Chad, like, motherfucking James. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you didn't. We didn't even play that game together. No. <laughs> You're making shit up, yo. Yes. <laughs> oh. It just really shows that those two have been like knowing each other for a long time. <laughs> oh, that I'm sorry, that was like the best one. I was like, that this should have been a best ever instead of worst ever. <laughs> the just best ever of the that. the best ever of the best ever's. Yeah, the best ever of the worst ever. <laughs> Mind fuck. Inse uh best deception. At the left, I was like I'm more respectful than Domino. Shiro. Most people are more respectable than Domino. Oh, snap. <laughs> really, Domino? Really? Because I've seen the shit you would, Chad. Yeah, you kind of cross a line or three. Dude, he crosses a couple interstates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That face just got stoned. I've only had actually one worst sidekick. What, Lewis doesn't count? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta agree, man, what he's like, I'm, the, I'm like the tamest audience member y'all got. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. No, that was funny when, um, <laughs> when that episode of the, the war- People after dark chats. <sighs> Depending on which people in the after dark chat we're referring to. <laughs> But yes, for the most part, Domino is far more respectful than the people in the After Dark chats. Mm -hmm. Three pieces of the tablet, bum 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 bum. <laughs> Priest is like, I don't know. Hello, Tom Cannon is really Priest lame. Is F you, F that couch. <laughs> Ray can add, do math. One more and we'll have the See, whole thing. Man, what he's like, don't get me started on an After Dark chat. See, I kind of had a laugh. You know how Agent Kane got his mm -hmm. little uh, spiel front page the other day about you know the yes. teams in After Dark, and Just I being do respectable. With, but, I, but I was there and I was reading this, and I was trying not to laugh because I'm sitting there going, he raises a valid point, and I would totally listen to this if it didn't come from the same person that harassed Nick the entire night in chat the last Irony. part of it. <laughs> I was like, pot, meat, kettle. It took me years to figure out what that meant. Because <laughs> we just didn't say that down here. <laughs> and Domino says, Tom, sing the Ghostbuster theme. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Oh, you don't want me to do it like William Shatner. <laughs> no. Two, 19 people. Come on, more. We need more. Go and advertise. Go yes. and tweet this at Screw Attack. Yes, yes. On Screw Attack. And let Mr. Brian Baker know, because he said he was looking for new things to put in the Let's Plays, and let's show him why Unistream is one of the best G1 streams out there for the reason <laughs> that we like are actually talking, <laughs> not just playing. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! That's my best walking that I can do. If there's something strange, and it don't look good... <laughs> yeah, you go to After Chat and just drop links. I want, I want you guys to all sign into After Dark and just drop links. Even if we get two people, it'll be worth it. <laughs> okay, so this level you can kind of cheat, because you guys can approach these levels in any order that you want. Uh, I like how if you go here... Like hold, hold on a second. Um... You can go to this bag of money, grab it, and then just go ahead and leave, <laughs> and then come back in and just keep grabbing that bag of money because it's always gonna, be, so it's always gonna be there. So, if you want to farm for gold, this is the way to do it. Okay. Anyway, as you were saying, I said I liked how Man of Woody was trolling in the chat, going, "Who's Brian Baker?" Oh, like the other day where he was trolling me and said, "So what does SGC stand for again?" Oh, that's right, this is the level of Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> I do not tell when- I do not tell Kanan when to talk, that's just rude. I just had something to say and it wasn't gonna be relevant in three seconds. Love Stay Puft, yeah. I just thought of another way for SGC to go. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Suck giant cock. 
What? <laughs> wait, 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 stop. What? <laughs> when he asked you today what SGC meant, suck giant cock. No, no, just no. Super invincible teacups, yes. What is PC user saying? <laughs> Screw as heck followed me as soon as I followed them. Yeah, man, seriously, they're really good about doing that. Thank you for just putting the nail in the head there, Tom. What's that? The reason that he's taunting the fact that ScrewTech follows him. ScrewTech doesn't follow me. So oh. I made a comment today on Twitter saying, maybe one day I'll be an awesome enough G1 that ScrewTech will follow me. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that nail in the head, Tom. I totally didn't know that. How's that foot tasting? Would you like some ketchup with that? No. I'm not a cannibal. I don't have the cannibal perk. <sighs> Climbing ladders, shooting teacups. Oh man, they're state puffed. So you got bombs and they don't really do anything. <laughs> Except for just like, kill some things, but not all the things. Makes no- it doesn't make sense. Bruce Look at the monkey. Says, and Tom, do you remember when they had the contest to see if anyone could guess what SGC stood for? What I do remember guess? that. Um, to be honest, I'm really bad at that kind of stuff. I didn't have a guess. <laughs> Although I did love the videos that kept coming out. Screwtack Gaming Cat! Some- Screwtack going crazy! Someone gets a colonoscopy! <laughs> Although the- the Screwtack going crazy one was pretty funny because it was, um, Craig walked into a room and Jose was on the couch playing, and um, he said, so, um, you want to sign this? And, and Jose just looks at him and said, are you going to make me famous? <laughs> and he said, take off your shirt. And then Ben walks in the room and they're like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Although the Screwtack Gaming Cat one was, was pretty funny. It's like the like uh, the, the cat gets like a perfect on Craig and he goes, son of a bitch, cat. Perfect. Get it? <laughs> uh... Yeah, Screwtack Gaming Cat's awesome. Encounter! Oh, this one's cool. This one's bouncing all over the place. Keep forgetting I have my shield. Turn that shield on. Retweet this. Smarter people tend to be more open-minded and accepting than others. Oh, is that... Which one is that one? Uberfax. Uberfax always does cool stuff. What? You can actually destroy the beams that it shoots at you? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it was just... Oh, god damn it. Yeah, that, that's funny, darling. Damn it. That, 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 that's fun shit. What is? He, uh, he's like, surely Jared follows you, Kanan. Nope! He doesn't follow me. <laughs> I, I like how you put that out there. It's like, he doesn't follow me. But <laughs> I was saying it to make you feel better. Because <laughs> I've been on Twitter longer than he has, and I... I thought it had the opposite effect, though, because it's just like, but he doesn't follow me. Almost like, well... If he doesn't, it's like, why would he follow you? But he doesn't even follow me. Jesus! That's not <laughs> what I meant! <laughs> Ethan's like, see, Kaden, I'm gonna pick up signs and stood outside at ScrewTech HQ until they follow me on Twitter. I suggest you do the same. Oh, crap. <laughs> and then FanMax says, Kanan has Sam following her. Who else do you need? Well, Kanan has Shelby, Sam, Sean. Because they work at the office. <laughs> I have Jose. Yeah, Jose's good. Jose's quality. I have Lauren following me. It's awesome. So awesome. Yes. And you know what? That's something I was thinking about. Speaking about Lauren and Jared, I actually figured out why, um, why uh, newsroom works so well. Because we're so used to seeing Jared play the straight man, and this time he's not the straight man. <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's like it's just so unexpected, <laughs> which is just hilarious to me. And speaking of which, okay, this part always pissed me off because there's no way to get around this guy because you don't swim fast enough, even if you use Egon. Fuck you, Kaneko. Just, just, fuck you. Oh, Kaneko, that's mean. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kaneko, why don't you go back to the Kanan kitchen? Kanan made me get Twitter enough said, aw, oh, man. <laughs> I can't afford the water! I can't afford- <laughs> There needs to be like a montage of like all of those sometime. Cause seriously, those zingers right at the end, that's- that's what really... 
really pushes the uh, the whole and thing that, for and newsroom to over the edge. Really in the moon. He's like, I didn't do anything for them to follow me. Yeah, they just started following me all of a sudden one day. I can't remember if it was something that I retweeted when they were first getting started or something like that. But it was like back when they were still doing unscripted promos on um, on uh, side scrollers. Ryan was still there. Thanks, That's gig. speaking Thanks. of which. Let Ryan know that we're doing this right now. I think he's doing DDR tonight. Oh, is he? Yeah, he mentioned that earlier. But oh, that's I, right. You know what? Um, it would be cool if he did what Corey used to do when she would go out to events. She would use the um, the uh, the streaming app uh, for UStream and actually broadcast live from wherever they were at. So Ryan gives like one of his friends his phone, and it's like, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, stream this shit live. Watch me break scores on the DDR machine, and that's machine spelled M A S H E E N. All you go tell 2-bit specialists, that's how you spell machine properly. God, these coffee cups are like worse than some of the bosses in Contra. <laughs> Ethan said, also, Kane, you need to watch the Screw and Rana archive. Craig, uh, Craig gave the finger to the G1s and dropped the F-bomb on us. Oh, they they did the three three F-bombs today, and he just dropped the finger out of nowhere, and then, like, a half a second later, when Chad saw it on the screen, he was like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Oh, that's our third one today. <laughs> that, that, that shit was hilarious. Uh, I, yeah, I don't think Craig dropped more F-bombs than when he found out that three quarters of his staff doesn't know the Justin Bailey code. Oh god, see that Annie Annie knew about the Justin Bailey code, which made me feel all sorts of good. Mm-hmm. Tingly in your pants. Oh you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she knows a code, she's so nerdy. Yeah, she like sent me a tweet saying that like the uh, Justin so Bailey code, that's like it. right up there with like the uh, Konami code and IDKFA, which is the get all weapons code from Doom and Doom 2. Which is kind of a big deal and it's kind of important. Oh, this one's crazy. This one breaks up into little pieces. Yeah, I know. It's like, heck. He sounds like, heck, I never played Metroid. Yeah, it's like we heard about that. It's like before we even beat the game, like when there was the rumor starting to go around that, like, hey, uh, I don't think Samus is a guy. And then we beat the game and, like, oh, that's cool. Samus is a chick, you know. But that was back, like, when girls were icky. I thought it was cool. That it was, I but still you know, like that, that the short that Brent did. It's like the the Metroid in so many seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like saving the planet. Must get off the planet. Holy crap! I'm a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Mouse says shield, Tom. Oh yeah, that's right. God damn it! I already used my duck too, so I gotta kill this thing without dying. Oh god, now it goes crazy. <laughs> yeah. Rah. In that rainbow cage you go. No, that was just crazy nuts. And then we started hearing about it. It's like, yeah, there's a code. And then everybody <laughs> kept saying it. It's like, I thought Samus was a robot. I was disappointed when I found out she was a human. Oh. But, but that means she's bangable. <laughs> yes. Unless if she's like one of those uh, robots that has the lady parts that you can interact with. If that's your thing. No, because... I, I would just worry uh, if, you know, you're, you're in the middle and you're just like, It's a robot! Can't get pregnant! Blow your load and she rusts from the inside out. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> there, it's, that, that brings a whole new term to the thing of high-maintenance women. Ah. Uh. But, um... I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Said Domino's says Samus's boobs are fake, just like Peaches and Zelda's, though. How the fuck would you know if her boobs are fake? Uh, Matt Pat did an episode of that on Game Theory. Because <sighs> she's like six foot three and she. <laughs> yes! He's in the Kanan! Dang it! You know, Samus is ruined for me, too! I love ruining shit for Isan. He can't play Makoto no more because of me. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, banging her initiates the self-destruct sequence. Have you no <laughs> Oh, Kanan got shut down? Uh, Wait, what? what? That's what I'm wondering. The hell? She normally shuts me down. I don't understand what's going on. That's what I'm confused with. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, but anyways, yeah, Isan can't play uh, Makoto no more because I kept making the jokes that, oh my god, she's got man hands! Oh, like, imagine what she could do with those hands. No! That, that's why we're fearful. Her hands are bigger than Ken's hands. Her feet are probably about the same size as Ken's feet! Well, we're if you're sure. into that, I mean, if you're into feet, <laughs> whatever. Dude, I'm, I'm missing the point, isn't it? Her, yeah, you're, you're really missing the point. She could probably snap her dick with her man hand. Just one. That's okay, because I wouldn't mind taking the chance with Chun Li either. <laughs> Shaking my head, Tom. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> somebody do a screen cap of Stay Pump just looking at the window and just put soon. <laughs> I'm still trying to, like, I'm trying to figure out why Man of Woody said Kanan got shut down. Boo yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that part out, too. I'm confused. Folks, I'm dropping some frames. I do apologize. My internet's being really shitty tonight, so... I'm doing my best to stabilize it. <laughs> Ethan's like, oh, don't worry, Tom. John Lee got partially ruined, too. Nothing is secret to Street Fighter. At least not when Kanan plays. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll never know! Perhaps it's for the better. I think Nana Woody has just lost it by being in all of our streams. I think we finally made him snap. Did he lose it or did he find it? Jaren ruined Chun Li and name tags. No, he didn't! That's just the actual fucking truth. Did I. That ladder should be all the way down here now. What, what's going on here? I don't know, but we need more people in here. Yeah, we do. We're at 20! Sweet. More. Hmm. Don't know what I did wrong here. Aww, Kaneko's being nice now. He said, if I could switch places with you, so screw attack and follow you instead of me, I would, since it means so much to you. Aww. I just feel kind of sad face, because I'm just like... Screw attack follows like every other one of the G1s that I hang around and talk about. <gasps> it's like, why don't they like me? Domino, if Tom showed his nipples, I'd get more people to come. No, <laughs> not gonna happen. Sorry, guys. Shiro, have you not watched name tags? What? He said Chun Li gang tags, what now? Oh no, that's sad. Well, no, I'm just, I'm wondering. What am I doing wrong here? Because mm. there's no Seriously, other. Seriously, guys, go watch name tags when you can. It doesn't take long. The episodes aren't very long, and it's like really ten minutes at tops an episode. Yeah, it's really fucking funny. You guys really should. Um, when you can, just scroll down to the very bottom of the page. Under retired features. Yeah, retired features, name tags. All sorts of fun. That is seriously my. <laughs> Man, Woody, I almost write something bad, but I Jose did. Deleted. <laughs> I thought, I thought like you Jose did. <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> if you're on the ladder, you're completely invincible from everything. Hey, Blade Man. Blade Man, thank you, and thank you for the massive number of retweets earlier today. That was very nice of you. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell's going on here? Because that ladder should be all the way down to the ground. <laughs> and I know I got both of the ghosts that were, damn it, in here. Unless if there was, um, another <laughs> way in. Blade Man, my nemesis! <laughs> Fireman nemesis. I thought it was Metal Man, and he's like, or, or or Heat Man, or any of the other men of fire. Okay! Da fuck. Oh, god damn it. Oh, well... <laughs> Ten continues. God, that's generous. Let's see here... 8,000... 
You know, it'd be really neat. Like, I'm just noticing still some of the talking about um, name tags and everything, and Jerry yes. keeps saying, like, you know, I will never make a season two because it's been four years. Mm -hmm. What would be really neat is if they could find someone to to do like animation, maybe of it. Oh, and voicing it could... over. Yeah, because then, every, like, the original cast that still wants part of it could. Yeah, that would be rather nice, because, um... <laughs> stop sucking. No. Uh, I gotta say thanks to Flying Glass, because guess you just followed me on Twitter. Oh, no kidding. Nope. Flying Glass went, hey, screw attack, follow Kate, it'll make her day. And then I just went, my phone just went playing, like, okay, what's it? You have a new Twitter follower. Yay! Happy. No, it would have been really funny if it was the account that was uh, fake screw tech. Uh, I'd be sad. You'd be sad, right? I'd cry, I'd be like, yeah, no. There was, um, funny that you mentioned that, that there was actually a one shot episode crossover between Wife and a Game and Name Tags. Yeah, it was, awesome. yeah so, you know, it's not like it hasn't been done before. And That's the technology nice. has improved a great deal since then, so. See, everything came back. Patrol Loco are patrolling the streets. Are they? No. Whoops, dang on it. Hey, I was totally you looking know, at the wrong Nando, place. Just because you're being a spiteful little dick like that, you will never, ever, ever hear me sing. Whoa. That's mean! Also, if you make your way over to SGC, I will make it my personal life goal to nut punch you. Oh, that, that's, that's one, one episode though, Man of Woody, that, and it was kind of more of a tease. That 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 was a uh, that was a tradition at Magfest to send uh, assassins around to go around uh, nut punching everybody. Okay, we're dropping frames like crazy here, so we're just gonna let it get caught up here for a moment. Like to uh, like, um, it's almost an unwatchable amount here. Okay, we're back to normal, so let's go. <laughs> Domino's retort is, meh, I, like I care, I can sing better. Oh, that's not cool, dude. <laughs> no, but I could also make sure that he never ever gets to watch one of Shelby's streams ever again, or interact with Queepy. Oh, see, that's that's bad, right? <laughs> but the thing is, though, Isan, Domino's not an innocent man. Have you seen the shit that he has said to me and Shelby and Queepy? He really crossed the line the other night. Yay! Ryan Stout's gonna come in because he's like, "Let's well, slap my butt and call me Citizen Kane. I'll be there soon." Sweet. Yay! But what? Do you... He's like, "Well, I'm hoping I'll get to go to Magfest." Don't hope, believe. Okay, see now the ladder's down. I don't understand. Yeah, but the way I'm looking at it is, I'm still like, I was hoping I would have had a job by now mm -hmm, and be a little too. bit closer to having an apartment. Do you know how good toasted marshmallows taste? I love marshmallows. <laughs> But one day I ate too many and then we realized I had become the Marshmallow Man. I'll do the same to you. So, like, the Marshmallow Man is Augustus Gloop, apparently. <laughs> For you Willy Wonka no, fans Ryan, out there. No, Ryan Stout, Phantom. I tweeted at him earlier to, to let him know that Tom was streaming. And oh! He made a Fire! Yeah, Ethan, the way I'm looking at it is, like, right now, like I said, I was hoping that by this time I would have had a job with stable income, so I would have been able to have my apartment sooner and be settled, but as it stands right now, I don't have a job at the moment, so it's going to be more delayed in me getting an apartment and getting furniture and all that fun stuff. So if SGC is happening, I may have to say I can't go to MAGFest, so I can at least make sure <sighs> set that I go to SGC. Kergasp. No! Okay. Scream Queen followed me today. Oh, that's nice. She's funny. She kept freaking out when Jared was playing um, I know, Resident Evil because of the spiders. Yeah, he, I think he had a message her to let her know when it was done. <laughs> Ethan's like, I'm not going to Magfest because of SGC. I will cosplay as a cardboard box. Ugh. No, you have to go to both. Because if it wasn't for, SG uh, for Magfest, there'd be no SGC. But the thing is, though, Tom, like I said, some of us have to actually save money. I know. You don't think I have to save money, too? I haven't had a job know. since... Goodness knows when. SGC and I'm not proud of that, either. 
but yeah, Ma- Mal brings up the correct point. He goes, but what is more important, Magfest or SGC? Um, I would rather go to SGC instead of Magfest. But Magfest is where the Shaq Fu happens. Hmm. I don't fucking care. I can watch that on video. I would. Oh, much for rather- God's sakes! You don't know what it's like unless if you've actually been a part of it. But the thing is, though, you've been to the SGCs. I never have. Well, whose fault is that? I'm kidding. I will fucking end you, Tom. Nom 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 nom. No. Pizza time. Team <laughs> flying glass at the best. I'd rather SGC break my con cherry. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's pretty, uh... Pretty high order right there. Flying glass, you're gonna at least come into Toronto to see uh, Brent perform next month? Hey son, I'm saving money for graduate school, but I can drive to Texas from New Mexico. Virginia is much harder. Huh. This is true. <laughs> Tom, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to find me at MAGFest, and I will give you no clues to my real identity beforehand. This is from Anna Woody. So <laughs> you accept this mission. You're funny. Yeah, even even Mal's like, Tom, we're going to SGC over MAGFest and a conversation. Making me cry, but you know what? Chances are, Brendan, the guy who runs MAGFest, he'll probably have a table there, so we will talk about the good times once we get there, and you will find out why they go hand in hand. It's kind of like PAX East and PAX Prime. They play off each other so well. Mm-hmm. But again, like I said, if I have to choose because of financial restraints, I would rather go to SGC. And I understand. I'm just giving you a hard time. Yes, I know, which you shouldn't be because it's not my fault. No, it isn't. You're being a brat about it. And then the guy who's buying all of the equipment from shows is like, I know all these things, but I'm not the bad guy. <laughs> Tell me, Grandpa, do you know this, Arthur? <laughs> and Mal's like, plus I always wanted to go to Texas. Texas is pretty cool. It's got one of the best highway systems I've ever seen, so it's very easy to get around. Also, there's state police drive Dodge Chargers, so they don't play around. The police back home drive Dodge Chargers. Yeah, but this was like three years ago. Yeah, same So they probably us. got like Vipers and Challengers and shit like that. That's such a good question. Uh, Deesha said, are they moving Iron Man of Gaming to SGC? I would assume, unless they would maybe have two Iron Man of Gaming, but that wouldn't make sense. See, okay, that's the thing I don't know, because at the time... Iron Man of Gaming was going to be moved to MAGFest. Now, with it coming back, I don't know if they're going to do two in one year or not. Because mm. I think um, the Iron Man of Screwtack kind of filled the void of not having one this actual calendar year. So, we shall see. God, I don't, you're never going to have enough money for that. Unless if it's like the last stage. Oh well. <laughs> Ethan's like, also at SGC, I'm gonna look Nick and Chad dead in the eyes and tell them, 1v1 me, at Street Fighter, you scrubs. Maybe I won't call them scrubs, but my Chun Li and Ibuki will fight in theirs. See, the thing is. His Oro's really good, don't mess with him. <laughs> Oro and his Chun Li. I hate Oro. Penis! <laughs> okay, here's I Arthur. I had to explain to James the look, day my, my absolute hate and disdain for Oro. Yes. Now look at this guy right here. He looks like the guy from Despicable Me. <laughs> Hand over the tablet. Okay, I understand. Herp derp. Finally, all the pieces in place. I failed once, but I'll succeed this time. My efforts will pay off. Now give my friends back to me. <laughs> they're located in this castle somewhere. Look for them as you like. I don't know if they're okay or not. Well, <laughs> just walks wow. away like Igor. Ison wants to know why you hate Oro. <laughs> I'll just start using him troll face. That's not very nice. <laughs> now this is where my memory of the game gets fuzzy because it's been a while. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Now I was like, mmm, East End, you, you, me, and Kanan, and whoever else plays Third Strike, we're gonna find a Third Strike cabinet, and we're gonna be there all night long. We'll just, like, ca- like camp out beside the Third Strike They cabinet. actually put the... It, well, it was the new generation machine, because they didn't get the Third Strike board yet, but um, they actually had that set up over by the registration desk, and then, like, all through, you know, which was the really? night before... The 
Really? Because I'm about to fucking ruin Oro for you. Because in the original Japanese version of Third Strike, whenever Oro does a low kick, his penis is visible. But they hack that out in the other versions. So, do you always notice how Oro has one arm tucked within his, you know, in his gi, and then he takes that out? That's because he is holding his dick in place. So, yeah, think of where that hand's been. And not to mention there's the fact that there's that nice little jump that he does, where his dick is in your face, and he's like, whoa, 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 in your face. That Zombies! Thing. Yeah, exactly. You have dirty old Hulk balls in your mouth, sir. See, but it says he seals his arm away to give his opponent a fighting chance. I still don't believe that. He's holding his dick in place. That is what he's doing. He's not sealing himself. He's just like, I'm gonna hold my dick so it doesn't drop when I do a low kick. And then I think to shove it in your mouth while I jump on your face. Balls in face! Move! <laughs> Poor Nate. Nate's like, I come back and I hear Kanan talking about dicks. Well, th th this is pretty much par for the course for her. I know. You gotta think, I've been pretty good. I haven't made a single dick joke yet, really, this evening. <laughs> Call that good and more like bad. People have come to expect your dick jokes. They look forward to your dick jokes. Yeah, and then I have people complaining, going, I just came back and the first thing I hear is dicks. Penis! Yeah, penis! It's what's for dinner. Yeah. It's my dick in a box. <laughs> I bought you a present. What did you get? Dick in a box! Yeah. <laughs> Ain't gonna buy you no diamond ring. Yeah, just, honestly, that, that makes me wonder Fuck. if how many guys have actually, you know, for like their girlfriend's birthday or maybe like their anniversary, they have this like awesome, awesome wrapped gift and they make her open it up and it's a penis in a box. They just like, they cut out a hole in the bottom and like, this is what I got you for your birthday. Penis! Well, you know, the whole joke is, you know, nice man buys wife piano, smart man gives wife organ. Get it? He's dead. Well, third strike is dead to me. I'm gonna switch to something like Virtua Fighter. There's my arcade stick in the fireplace. Bad man. Virtua Fighter's for people that can't play. We need Vermindel to come and, and go to SGC. Jesus Christ! And now Dom was like, I need a girlfriend to try that. I'm sure you could try that with your inflatable doll. Oh. Flying <laughs> glass, like, I Thank got my you. best friend who's a girl a vibrator for her 22nd birthday. That was either, that is either most awkward gift or you are her best friend for life. Probably best friend for life because she can use it every day and think about him. So flying glass is like, so it was a dick in a box. So to speak. <laughs> I didn't- sorry, Mal, I didn't see that. See what? Oh, for fuck's and sake. Sonic, Sonic's like, damn, Kane, I'm being harsh tonight. Actually, Sonic, if you saw half the shit that I had to put up with Domino, especially this evening, it's well, well deserved. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I see that. Me and Burm are considering coming down to SGC. That would be awesome, Del. That would be awesome. More the merrier, but remember, we're not gonna. It's not gonna happen if we don't donate. Does anybody know how to fix a dishwasher? This comes from Ryan. <laughs> hey, Ryan. What did you do, Ryan? <laughs> For fuck's sake! I like how Esan's like to to Woody. He's like, I'll switch to Mortal Kombat and play as Sub Zero. I heard he's a cool guy. Really, Esan? But up, up, but up, up. <laughs> Flying glass is actually quite nice to Domino compared to normal Kanan. <laughs> <laughs> Purple monkey dishwasher! Aw, oh, Woody! Woody! Bad! By dishwasher. Oh, that's terrible, but... Woody, man. <laughs> oh, that must be the last boss right there, because the door's fucking locked! <sighs> Damn. Okay, well... <laughs> Sounds like I have a bad joke quota I have to fill. Do not judge my methods, but what I seek to accomplish. <laughs> and goes like, why is this third strike dead to you? You came into this conversation a little bit late. Yeah, he, he missed the Oro rant. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you fight the Grim Reaper here, and he looks like the like Grim Reaper from Castlevania. <laughs> Uh, 
I almost got excited for a minute. I looked at the clock. It says 10:40. I'm like, yes, it starts soon. Then I'm like, wait, wait, no, it's 11 their time. So it's just yeah. an hour. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I got myself excited for nothing. Seen, it doesn't do much. It reduces the damage you take. It doesn't actually protect you from, like, damage, like, altogether. It's like body armor from, like, in uh, Quake or Doom. Because if I actually decided to take a hit from death without the shield, no, I would have been dead a long time ago. Now, there is something that actually does reduce the Man, number of- Mr. West! Every time you come in the chat, you change your color, Mr. West. Because he's- a man of many colors. He's a rainbow? That's you know. awesome, Mr. West. You're a mm. rainbow. You're like my hero now. <laughs> the next game I should play... Wander Pyros. I have no idea what that is. Please explain. Mm. Enlighten me, please. What am I enlightening you on? No, no, no. East, uh, Mal just said the next game I should track down is Wardner slash Pyros. Same person I always cheer for, Blade Man, Jared. Same thing as for me, Chad, but you know, I gotta say, it's gonna be really, really good to see Corey in front of the camera for the first time in almost two years. Yay! Yeah, I told her, I said, you and I'm Team Jared, best of luck tonight, have fun. Brian's like, calling a, a bet for, um... Yeah, I saw that. Team, team guest. <laughs> yep, team fourth. Mm-hmm. Team Couch. <laughs> yeah, one up. Whoops! Well, it's not like I use those bombs anyway. Oh well, I just had to laugh that, you know. Oh, Mr. West! You make me sad now. What do you say? You were my hero for all of us. Anyone seconds. but Jared. <laughs> exactly. Mr. West was my hero, and now he's a fallen idol. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fallen Catholic. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Catholic right here. Me too. That's why I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> Encounter. Oh, that's right where you fight like a possessed Ghostbuster. He is not. Muda said... Jared is the Mario Party after dark heel slash villain, and he's proud to be one. What? No, he just calls bullshit on everybody. Pretty much. First he says to both of us, for intro console streaming gear, what would you recommend? Also, would you recommend NES or NES for the first of my older generation consoles? Uh, SNES. If you're... Mm, the SNES had a lot to do and a lot to show, so you really can't go wrong with either of them, but for, like, purposes of, like, testing your visual fidelity, I would definitely say the Super Nintendo would be a better option. Brian says he's an SA vet cheering on another vet. Oh, really? Yeah. Except, like, as much as I had to agree with Domino, Domino's correct. If Jared is, is like, if anything, Jared's the hero. He doesn't dick people over when they're in the toilet. That is correct. Jared stalled so they would not dick Sam over. And that cost him the game. No, that wasn't what cost him the game. This is hard. And I just get pissed off because everybody's just all like, oh, you know, he, he gets so sad, like, he gets so depressed when he loses. He's not depressed because he's losing, he's depressed because he's He lets, lets his down. fans down. Exactly. Like I said, he actually went. And, and, like I said, had a secret stream, which he has now since deleted the video. I have he, it. He, yeah, I know you do. You <laughs> I have, have every- it. I have everything. And like, he actually- The end of Predator, and, the end of Mario Party 4. And he thoroughly apologized to everybody, because like I said, that's what it is. He's not upset because he's losing, he's upset because he feels that he has let down his hardcore fans. And no, it's not because he's drunk. Because, no offense, if you've actually watched him stream, that boy sits and drinks straight fucking vodka. Mm. And he doesn't get depressed from it. 
Still concerns me that he does that, though. Yeah, but that's his choice. Team Swag even have well, our own gonna, victory theme gonna, now. Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna, rub, I'm gonna rub it in all of Team Swag's face, because even though I'm Team Jared, guess team who ends up with Sam next week, suckers? <laughs> yeah, that's right, I said it. Do -do -do -do. This music's creepy! But I just feel bad for Jared, because something or somebody always dicks him over. Like, when Chad won, there was actually, like, the mutual agreement between Chad and Jared, because Chad's like, dude, I hate to dick you over. And, like, Jared's like, I know I'm gonna lose, so it means that you win, go for it. So for all of you that are all, like, Team Chad, Jared technically helped with that win. Encounter! Whoa! What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this has been so long I forgot this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is like the little caterpillar thing on steroids. Yeah, that last one was bullshit, Jack Archer. I felt bad the poor guy got fucking gin in his eye. Okay, that that sucked. <laughs> but it was also that surprised me even more. It's like, gin? Is this like 17th century England? Gin? Really? <laughs> but because the, they were making martinis. Vodka martinis shaken, not stirred, thank you. God damn you it, don't even back drink. up. I don't drink, but that doesn't mean I don't know how to mix. Come on. Come. Get in the trap. No. Not losing a ghost. Not now. There. Whew. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's weird Sam and Jared. Yeah, Disher said, it's weird see watching Sam and, and Jared, Jared didn't, because didn't, I've met them and no. they're nice guys. Oh, yeah, well, like I said, they're just, they're dicking around. They're having fun. Yes. It's that it mean-spirited gets... competition that you, that you and your friends do when it's like all bets are off. Yeah, like I said, James and I were talking about seeing if we can get Sam to play Mario Party with us. And mm -hmm. James is like, after after hanging out with me at the pinball cafe, he's like, Oh my god, if we actually manage to play Mario Party, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of uh, James, did you see what he his got front-paged? His new music. Oh god, so good. Yeah, I know. So I good. He told me that Wednesday, he goes, Yeah, so I'm gonna let you know that I did Terra's theme. Because he's been trying with that one for a while. Mm -hmm. And it's like... I, it, he busted out the ukulele and I was like, what thought, the hell? Yeah, that was awesome. But no, uh, he, he's like, oh man, he's like, I've been trying so hard to, to get it. He goes, I've done it so many times, just that it hasn't turned out anything like I want. He goes, I think I finally did it now. And he was very amazed when I told him about the uh, the mirror image of uh, Locke and Rachel's themes. Mm -hmm. Because he's like, no. He's, I'm like, yeah, seriously, go listen to that. I'm serious. I said, if you slow down Locke's theme, it's Rachel's theme. And if you speed up Rachel's theme, it's Locke's theme. Never thought the Ghostbusters would be fighting zombies. <laughs> Seems a little... A little creepy, a little weird. But then again, there was that episode in the animated series where they did... But they didn't have their proton packs, which was he said, awkward. I miss Corey so much. Her Destin and Craig side schoolers is one of the best memories I had. Also, the amount I would laugh whenever they would grief each other, like Corey being called rich because she could afford a washing machine. Oh yeah, and then um, that they kept calling her the crazy old cat lady because her boyfriend before uh, Unholy Night mm -hmm. left the his cat with her. <laughs> it's like Corey's the crazy old cat lady. She's got more than one cat. It's like I did not. I do like it when she would post pictures of uh, Betty, like when the lightning storms would happen and Betty would hide underneath the, um, I was thinking it was like the bathroom cabinet. <laughs> I was like, oh, Betty looks just like Freddy Panther. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Do, 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 do. Spinning axe blades and stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. Man. 
and run. Whoop. Ooh. Go, 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 go. Okay. Whew. Holy crap. Hey, nice. Thank you. No! Stop it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> There we go. Hello? Hello. Oh, you got quiet, that's that's all. Because I'm just advertising. Oh, good. I was typing. I didn't hear no keyboard, so. So not as noisy Corey's... as you? <laughs> like Cory's Corner on hard news, something like that is badly needed. Yes, I do wow. miss I do miss Cory's Corner she because it was I can't have her, nobody can, and the guy almost got a restraining order from Fish. What? Wait, what? That's what Esam said. Huh, interesting. Mm. Cory's secret boyfriend was the best story, yes. <laughs> Cory's <laughs> accidental boyfriend. There was actually also like a really, like, I didn't, like, back when she first made her debut and I was still trying to figure out was she hired to be just a pretty face or was she hired because of what she went to school for, and it was like the, it was summer of 2008, and it was an episode that was just her, Nick, Ben, and Destin, and she defended pornography on a level that I've never heard of in my life that actually made sense, and I'm like, this girl's legit. <laughs> Never mind the fact that it was about porn, it was just the way she went about, like, doing it was, was just the part that impressed me the most about it. Oh, F. I'd really not like to die here. Do I have any turkey? I don't have any. God damn it. Oh, gotta be like the Matador uh, here. Oh, Eastan said that was a news desk thing. Corey was talking about how someone almost got a restraining order because he stabbed their pet fish out of revenge. Oh, I remember that. And Domino says women was... all love the porn. Yeah, oh. if I want to laugh. <laughs> yeah, because it can be some pretty bad stuff at times. It, it's just... Uh, I think I watched uh, Girls Gone Wild. Yes! And, I'm, and like, it was, the funny thing was, it was myself, my friend Jess, uh, Melanie, and... Melanie, I... there's a porn star name. Anyways, um... Sonya, we were watching it. Like we're, we're like we're over at Sonya's. It was a, I think a Sunday afternoon. The guys were all out somewhere, and we're just like we're bored. And Terry had like the, the the DVD sitting out of Girls Gone Wild games, and so Jess is like, let's watch this. And like, sure, because there's nothing better to do. So we watch this, and we're just sitting and picking it apart and just laughing. They're like, no, no, that wouldn't work. And oh, it was bad. <laughs> we just I bet it is. <laughs> We just couldn't stop laughing. And Phantom X Death is like, Kanan watches Girls Gone Wild. Confirmed. Only Girls Gone Wild games. Just the one DVD. Although porno bloopers are fucking hysterical. <laughs> there was a really good one of this chick getting backdoored by accident. And then, <laughs> um, uh, then you hear, uh, Brennel Floss, you just got pwned, FTW! I remember you were saying that. Yeah, that was, that's still the funniest thing I've ever seen, because I was like, what? And it's like, oh, clearly someone's a fan of Brent's work. <laughs> no, uh, like I said, one of the funniest ones that I saw was the, the girl that was doing, like, a shower scene, and she was, like, leaning off the Isan, side. how do you kill ghosts? <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so she's like leaning off, or she's like leaning off the side, trying to do like this big sexy shower, shower, sh yeah, shower scene. And I don't think they must have had like um, uh, the stuff on the bottom of the shower because she slipped oh, and fell out. She fell out of the shower, and of course it's funny because she takes the shower curtains with her, and you hear thump bang, and she's like, oh. oh, and you look, and she's wearing jeans. Oh god, that's even worse because she's gonna get like. Jeans like like get really tight when when you get them wet. I know, but I'm sitting like cut there off your circulation to your legs and like, stuff. <laughs> the, the fact that she's wearing jeans for a shower scene, she's like, yeah, I'm gonna go only like top half. I'm like, really? No, I haven't seen the new Avengers. <laughs> new Avengers, what? Porn. Oh. Or is somebody on Fox News called it the Avengers? Like, the really? Aven Avengers Q. The copy of the guy game. Um, I know about that. 
and <laughs> and I called it the gay guy game only because no straight man would actually own that because there's better free pornography on the internet. It's like, this is what you keep in your collection to like, oh, I'm straight, look at this. I'm like, yep, that's legit, he's got that, he can't be. Oh, this game's fuck. horrible. <laughs> Stop sucking, Tom. I'm not. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna win. <laughs> Damn it! Haha! <laughs> oh, and apparently China from wrestling is She Hulk. Oh, that kind of makes sense, actually. Haha! <laughs> Look at him. It's like when he gets when he gets depossessed, he's like, Aww. oh, that was easy. <laughs> She said, there was one where a guy blew a huge load on a girl's face and some worker came in and said, you want a donut? <laughs> just, just something to dip just it in, not, right? It's not Austin Cream. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop sucking. I beat him! Jesus. Domino, shame on you, sir. <laughs> Domino. He just said his inappropriate stuff. God damn it. Okay, and go. How would oh, you can't You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. Seriously. You, <sighs> the knockback on that is just so much. There. Suck Why it. would you shoot money? It's called the money shot, isn't it? That, no, that's the fan X just said money shot, and Ryan's like, Why would you shoot money? Because <laughs> apparently you're that fucking rich that you can put a few holes in your bills. Just jizzing money everywhere. Yes! What? Yes, yes, yes! Masako X from Team Four Star retweeted about SGC. That's, yes! That's kind of a big deal. Damn fucking right. Woo! <laughs> Aw yeah. <laughs> that excites me so much. Ducks just have holes in their bills. Oh, that's funny. Jack Archer. If you got nothing to do for the next hour, thank you, Jack Archer. Okay, is it left or it's right? It's left. Oh, F. Cool guy. He's good friends with my friend Tom too. Nice. Yes, flying glass. I'm very excited tonight because I don't have a job, so I can't contribute any money to SGC as much as I would fucking love to. And even if I did get a job in the next few days, by the time I actually start working and get money, it'll be like the Kickstarter will be pretty much over by that you point. Got 35, 34 days. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so I went and I just uh, tweeted to a lot of people, like Team Four Star, to Massico, to Marianne Miller, who's married to Little Karibo. Um, I, yeah, I think I did send a tweet to Little Karibo also. Good. About that, but yeah, I tweeted to a lot of them to, to say, hey, look, can I please get a retweet to get like the best gaming convention back? And I uh, gave the link to the Kickstarter page. Good, 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 good. So yeah, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm very, very excited about that. Yeah, and guys, uh, tell two friends about it and put that out there to any like major organizations that you know. Because here, here's the thing: while it's it's for the G1s, we want to bring as many putty, as many people into this as we can because hopefully they'll become future G1s and we'll be able to see cool stuff from them too. And also, you know, if like, people like Team Four Star, they want to join in as like guests or something like that, that would be fucking cool. Wait, like Kickstarter I said, doesn't take PayPal? That's bullshit. No, it's it's got to be a direct it's got to be a direct payment. That's kind of bull. Well, that way you can actually get your refund back from it too immediately because if you use PayPal, your money's got to like sit and go through stuff. Okay, now this thing's funny is here. 
because you got this giant Venus flytrap, and if you ever saw the remake of the little plant shop of horrors, Rick Moranis played that. <laughs> yep. So I thought that was funny. And then you've got Bill Murray that played Garfield, who was voiced by John Lorenzo in the animated series, and the and the John Lorenzo went to go voice Garfield in the animated series, so they just kind of did a flip flop. Weird. Do, 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 do. Now I'll have your pleasant dinner. <laughs> the new menu features Ghostbusters. Somehow, I don't think so. Let's eat. I guess I can't remember if I gotta shoot him in the mouth or not. Feed me, Seymour! That just sounds wrong. Shoot him in the mouth? Yeah. Damn it. Can't tell if this is doing anything or not. He says, I don't care what anyone says, Garfield was glorious in my ten-year-old eyes. Garfield was awesome, I don't know what you're talking about. But I don't know if he's talking about the new movies. Ah, uh, the movie that is, yeah. Oh, the movie? Not so much. Damn it. No! And there we go. Damn it. So many continues. Oh, and I had a peeking duck too. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> if we look 30 years ahead, better ones will be made. Can you wait that long? <laughs> I don't have enough money. You suck. <laughs> Do this again. All that's left is that last guy. <laughs> Only if contract controls like that, that's nuts. I can go backwards and shoot. But then again, that might make it too easy. Oops. <laughs> Get that shield up. Yay! Ryan just donated for SGC. Awesome, Ryan. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll be happy if Ryan goes. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Because that was, um... At the Meet the Screw Attack panel, Ryan dominated the conversation for a good 15 <laughs> minutes when somebody asked him how he does his hair. <laughs> And that's back when Ryan had those, those <laughs> that flowing there. mane of his. It's like to the point where, like, I think Corey said, like, okay, I'm gonna need a list for that stuff. All right, let's do this. Actually, hold on. Donate a dollar. Donate what you can. <laughs> Ryan says, <laughs> I'll be happy if Ryan goes. <laughs> we would. Well. Oh, let's see here. Venus Death Trap. As long as he's moving, he won't be able to hit you. Plan your shots accordingly. Oh, shooting him in the mouth. Okay, well. Big surprise. Okay. And while my shield's constantly ticking down, whoopsie daisy! And yeah, remember, guys, a hundred dollars covers your ticket too. So yeah, don't really pay for your passport. Damn it! Hey, you've got a full year. Pay for your own. <laughs> Ryan, I love Garfield. Mine is Garfield. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't know. I don't know, Mr. West. I may have to disagree and say at least I could do is the best damn comic in history. Who gonna love that comic? <laughs> Viagra. You could fuck concrete with this shit. Can't tell if I'm doing any damage to him or not. Damn right, Nate. He's like, I live in Texas. I have no excuse not to go to SGC. Damn right. Seriously. I'm really excited if they fucking get this carrying around mobile. That would be fucking epic. I would like to see them at least hit 425,000 just so they can get the mobile app. 
me because that actually, the fact that they even put that on there shows that finally we got confirmation that it actually does need to happen because at, at SGC 10, when Craig was showing up, hey guys, when are you going to have the screw attack app? When are you guys going to have the screw attack app? And I thought it was like talking about like, oh my God, they're actually going to show us the mobile browser. And then they showed off texting of the bread. I was like, okay, this is a nice surprise. I like this. <laughs> But, you know, the mobile app would be great, because... <laughs> West, everyone has their own opinion, Kane. Except for you. You suck. Calvin Hobbes is the best. Love you! Oh. Well, okay, <laughs> no, dis no. distinguish it. I actually it. do Web fucking comic. love uh, Calvin Hobbes, but my favorite comic has to be the least I can do. <sighs> In fact, um, on their, on their Sunday Fuck. strips, uh, they do the, the least I can do beginnings when it's, like, them as kids. And it's kind of done to the same art style as Calvin and Hobbes. In fact, they mm -hmm. actually did a throwback to Calvin and Hobbes with them in the comic. Was that the one where it was like the kid telling the father, it's like, you can't believe what we did today? Uh, no, it was the one where uh, Little Rain actually says to uh, Calvin Hobbes something about the, uh, if I was your creator, I would never have let the right, like basically it's like something about I wouldn't have let the rights go. Mm. Peanuts for the win! Peanuts was awesome. I oh, don't know, that Lucy's a real cock tease when it came to the, the fucking football. Oh my god, yeah. And there was a like, whole theory that, it, like, after it, Charles it, Schultz's, uh, like, open heart surgery, that it wasn't as funny anymore because he said, Well, you know, there is oxygen deprivation that goes on when you go under, so maybe something got bonked around when they were working on me. Like, you're being too rough on yourself, dude. <laughs> Muda, they've been trying to fix the website. It's still improving day by day. Oh, we're talking about ScrewTech? Muda said before they get an app, they need a fully functioning website without a messed up wall and one that doesn't crash so often. I would also like to see notifications of actual content actually get updated in real time again. Because that's mm -hmm. the main reason why a lot of my stuff that from my various conventions hasn't gone up, because I want people to actually see it. Because, you know, my stuff goes up every Thursday afternoon, so <laughs> I would like people to actually know. We already know what he says. Shut up. Get out of here. But yeah, you know, that's it, it, it's a work in progress. You know, nothing is done yet. They're turning stuff back on as soon as they get it ready. So, patience. Mm -hmm. Have patience. It's how you become a good doctor. You have patience. Get it. Get it. Get it. Doctors, patience. <sighs> God damn it. That's what we say every time you attempt to make a joke. <laughs> God damn it. Yep. Funny, right? I'm pretty sure Funny the goddammit. Face. <laughs> oh shit. Shit, son. <laughs> hey James Evil. <Eagle. laughs> He's like, so, that's what I walk into. So there's always that lovely danger when you come in late to one of our streams that you just walk into dick jokes. Or Tom's face. Neither of which are ideal. Unless you're a, you know, underage girl. Oh, baby. And then the second option is Tom's favorite. Which is... Flying glass. Oh, Tom, with your puns. Not very punny, huh? God yeah. damn it. You're pun believable. Oh, you! <laughs> I see what you did there! Yes, James Evil, I know. But I'm just stating that, that that's. You don't get to complain when you come in late because. Yeah. <laughs> Need he more said, bombs. Tom, I guess you're pleading yourself into harm. Oh, boo hiss to you, sir. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I think I actually found the actual... Because I don't remember being this hard when I first played it a long time ago, so I need to buy more bombs. <laughs> wow, now everybody's popping on this. He's really getting to the root of the problem. Oh, guys. 
You, oh, pff, you do not get to complain. You started bad pun humor in the stream, so it is coming to bite you in the ass. No, 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 no. Yeah. It was replaced, nope. replaced mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. with something. Mm -mm. Nope. It's all your fault. Is it? Yep. I blame society. <laughs> He said, I can't spell tonight! Well, that sounds like a personal problem. Doom ba doom ba doom boom. I should be right back. I need more orange juice in order to make tequila sunrise. I was gonna say, you're gonna go ahead and make yourself a screwdriver. Nope, tequila sunrise. No be right back. Have fun. So, hey chat, how are you doing? <laughs> Isan can't spell tonight. See what you did there, plant jokes. <laughs> I want to elaborate a rose. Elaborate rose! All the elaboration. Damn it, Slimer. Actually, to that point. Bam! Give me that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing as best as I can, Ryan, but right now I'm having some issues with this Venus Devil Flytrap thing in my bobber. <laughs> we rose to make more puns. Oh, Isan, you're so crazy. And guys, real quick before I forget. Ryan Stout, follow him on Twitch when he does his streams. It's always a good time. He was playing <laughs> the other day and sword and sorcery. It's always good times. Follow him on Twitter. It's Ryan S. Stout. Not Ryan Stout. That'll take you to someone else completely different. <laughs> He's good people. Screw attack alumni knowing. Here's how you beat the game. Turn it off and start a new one. <laughs> Blah, get out of here. Oh no, did I buy a turkey? No! God damn it. Can't fuck around. Damn it. Now I'm out of bombs. My plan that was working so well. Wow. Guess what, Cannon? What? Forgot to buy a a duck while I was out on my last round, so this is it. <laughs> wow. Just wow. The thing is there's not much of the game left, so if I get a game over gonna be kind of embarrassing. Like, there's like one more level left after this and that's it. All because you forgot to pick up groceries. I did. I'm a typical man, right? Yep. F. Need more bombs, need to... You know what, I'm just gonna buy a phaser shell, because that means... I actually do remember that being actually a good weapon. I hope I have enough to buy the freaking suit later. Turkey. Or duck or whatever. Bombs. Buy all the bombs. I wish I could sell back the goggles after that. 
<laughs> Isan. Oh no, people uh, are spoiling the Dark Knight for me, telling me that certain comic book references are made in the movie if I read oh, Flip's table. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Phantom X says, do the duck walk. Good point, sir. Good point. Is that Dr. Wily? Dr. Wily. These appear to be energy weedings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Says, As old Chinese proverb says, wise man knees when his ass is kicked. Wow. Yeah. Find out how much the- Hey Domino, why don't you go fucking sing to yourself since apparently you have a superior voice. Fuck your catch. Damn! Oh no, because he said in chat, he goes, I wish Shelby was here, then she would sing to us. <laughs> sing bo Drunken Bohemian Rhapsody without any music. Yep. Classic. I need to make that a highlight. <laughs> Duck under the laser. Yeah, you know, that's something I probably should have thought of doing. Because I was like, oh, go ahead and just shoot the things as they come, and then I realized, um, it take more than one hit. <laughs> Jerk. Mega Man, Mega Man, duck under the fucking laser! <laughs> I do want to do all the Mega Mans at some point. <laughs> oh, dropping frames, we're gonna wait a minute, but I get caught up. I always thought that was funny, it seems to drop frames when my bitrate gets above what I have it set to. You think it would be the other way around? Okay, now we're good. So 4:23 in the morning is a little bit late to be singing, sir. I don't think so. It's just, it's just begun. Blah blah blah. I don't care what you're saying. Okay. Wow. Find out how much. Damn it. See how many fucks I give. Can I duck under it? We'll find Bradley. out here. Surprisingly, Batman wasn't playing at a lot of the theaters where I am. Hmm. Oh. Well, snap. Snap indeed. Damn it. Don't die. Okay, this is just getting frustrating here. I don't want to have a haunting ground moment. <laughs> No, a fan of my dad, it's because of that. It's just depending on where he's at, theaters, and their priorities. Well, they actually cancelled the Parisian thing in light of what happened earlier today, which I found to be quite surprising. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, yeah, Ryan says there are only four where I live, and I think three of them aren't playing it. Damn, this thing's effing him up. Eat it! Is that what you tell all the ladies? Only after she says okay. Because you know I don't want to be a dick about it. Get it! <sighs> I'm out of energy! Back to the regular stuff. But stand right here. Nope, that didn't work either. Damn it! He senses. I want to branch out different puns, but plant puns are the root of my humor. Ooh. Oh no! Don't do this to me. <laughs> Got you, fucker! Uh, God damn it! What is it not over yet? Oh, uh, just oh, you get the <laughs> you get the the skull key from Doom. Is that what that is? <laughs> Was out of shield mode. It uses the same beam as the um, as the uh, weapon. <laughs> Tom, go to Plant 42 and give it the killer plant food. Yes, Resident Evil. James Evil says, oddly, this is the first room I'm watching in my new place. Tom, you beat After Dark. Well played. Hey, hey, all right, victory. Go Iron. Go Unistream. Did Arthur die? He was once my friend. Your friend was a dick. <laughs> he found the stone <laughs> tablet and changed. He was. Was Mr. West? Tom, it's like Tom, five minutes ago. I should jump into the laser. Tom, now. Lol, nope. Jumpy, jump, jump. Yeah, seriously. Was, those fucking things are coming after you. It's like, for this time, I will store Arthur's good name. I'll pay for your costs. We did it, boy. We were lucky. 
How long were you ever? Oh, just not enough. <laughs> just not enough to get the, the suit thing. Oh, there's no good Don Rat. Absolutely good at using it. Doesn't look like this. Now, now, what hmm. did we learn from this lesson, Tom? What? By ducks. Oh, right. Yes. Quack. Earthquake! Yeah, oh no, somebody's playing Act Razor and they're tearing down all the houses. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Popo wants his revenge. What, what? What are good times to stream and days? I would have. would have enjoyed having more people in my streams. That's the thing, Bruce. I mean, I try to do it whenever I can, but school just kind of gets in the way of it. It's just coincidence that it's been working out to be Friday. I would definitely say Tuesday night, but you gotta, you know what you also want to probably look at is like the TV scheduling, see what's playing in your area, just so that way you're not competing against actual terrestrial broadcasts. Oh no, a sinkhole! Don't touch that stone tablet from studying the decipher there. Blah, 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 blah. Bye, ducks. Also, duck under the damn laser. Oh, it's all about ducks, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the jewel is called the Eye of the Flame. Evil of the world is open. Oh come on! You can't. How can you say something like that? It's already been done. <laughs> you just say it's already been done. And Phantom says, "Yo, why is this game racist?" No, Winston. Yeah, I know, Phantom. We bitched at that at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just like, "Why does?" And the, the way I was trying to justify it is like, this takes place like, like right after they start the franchise before they hired him. Because <laughs> there's like a, that B-roll of them like doing all those jobs, but they don't even actually show. Like everything leading up to it. Excuse me for the sudden interruption. I'm a representative of the mayor, and I'd like to ask you to see the. <laughs> and the entire city's been stopped to a standstill. Apparently, after dark, chat is already busy. Good for them. Tell them to get in here. No, I think he means actual Mario Party after dark. I know. Go in there and tell them to get in here. <laughs> it's like you got wow. a half an hour to kill. Come in here. <laughs> God, everybody, let's not say anything about the earthquake being our fault. Earthbender. Okay. Well, I don't have enough for the barrier, so I may as well just get everything else. No, James Evil, this was not the result of the unused Ghostbusters 3 script. We're believing that the new Ghostbusters game that came out in 2009 was. It, oh, no, it's not was. It is. We we, we gotten all the confirmation. Dom says, can't. Jared will tell me off. Oh, is, is he modding the chat right now? He's always modding the chat. You could not put the link and just say, hey, Tom is streaming. Mm. Yeah, Woody Man, spread gun. Deep hole. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Whoa, goddamn. Turn on that shield. Whoops. Look at that background. Look how macabre that is. Jesus. Everything hurts you! Yeah, those green things hurt you. God damn it. Tricky platforming, go! I choose you! Yeah, man, Woody, I have a feeling if you said that, you would get banned so fucking quick. Tell Jared to mind his own business? <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, yeah, you would probably get kind of get thrown out in a big way. Oh, yeah. Jesus. There goes Slime Run, I completely missed him. Damn it! I think Woody Man's logic's like, are they gonna tell the G1 of the year to go F off? And I'm like, yep. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, you can't kill them either. Oh, they shoot spikes at you? What the fuck, man? Oh, wow. What? Jared's own girlfriend is rooting against him. Oh. Even Corey. Damn, Heidi. <laughs> it's like, ouch. It's pretty hardcore. Uh, Prime 
more time than we can fucking count, Mr. West. Hmm? He said, any bets on how often the Van Hammer will be used tonight? All the times. I guess that's. I like, I like how Donna's like girl power. I think, dude, I'm a chick, and I didn't vote for Lo like I didn't root for Lord, and I'm not rooting for Corey. <laughs> I like that though. Man, was like, they can't throw me out. I'm like royalty, and Muda said, also, what if Woody Man is a five thousand dollar contributor? <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> What's that? Gonna ban me? Guess I'll take that five thousand back. Snap. <laughs> Encounter. Oh no, it's it you know what this is, it's a gauntlet run, I gotta fight all those bosses again. Nice. That's fine. So here's the difference. There were I people rooting for Lauren. Oh yeah, there were. There definitely were. 